Welcome everyone to practice. I'm Kimberly. It's great to have you. For today, we're going to start with the core flow. It's a series of movements that's going to work three dimensionally around the whole abdomen. So we'll get that nice support to then lead us into a more of a twisting, very detoxifying flow, good for your circulation and metabolism. So for that flow, have a block and a strap. You won't need them, but they might come in handy. And if you enjoyed today's class, please like and subscribe to my channel. You can leave me any questions or comments in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. So we're going to start right away with our core. Let's line our back. And then take your right leg over your left and right arm under. So you're in an eagle. And then tap your left fingertips overhead and your left toes to the floor. Take an inhale as you hug the front ribs back. As you exhale, just draw elbow to knee. Inhale and tap. Exhale, curl. Twice more, inhale. On this fourth one, hold. And then two more slow, inhale. Hold at the top. One more, inhale. And then just come down, second side. Left leg over, arm under. And then tap your right big toe and right fingertips to the floor, take an inhale. Exhale, curl and lift. Inhale, tap, extend, front ribs back. Exhale, curl. Keep squeezing the thighs, two more, inhale. One more, and then pause at the top. And then two more slow, so inhale. And exhale, just a little more slowly. One more, inhale. Squeeze the breath, pause at the top. Good, and then come down, just unravel. Hug your knees in. And then come up, right to side plank. And then come to left side, side plank. Step your right foot halfway down the mat. Reach your right arm up. Take an inhale, hover the left hip. And as you lift the hip, I want you to take your right arm and thread it underneath you. Inhale and hover. Exhale, thread. Inhale and hover. Keep hugging the shoulder in the socket. And if you want for these next three, you can stack. Just makes it a little more challenging. Two more. One more. And then just switch sides. Side plank. Start with the kickstand of the left foot halfway down. Take an inhale, hover the hip, and then exhale, thread. Inhale. Exhale. So we're getting a little work through the outer right hip as well. And then you can stay with the kickstand or stack the heels, hover the hip. And then as you lift, thread that top arm under your right side body, inhale. One more. And then come to plank and just cross your ankles, bring your knees down and roll to your back. And then take your arms alongside you, legs straight up. And then lower your legs about halfway to 45 degrees and then open the legs there and then bring them together and hug your knees in as you lift your hips. Inhale, spread them apart. Exhale, draw the knees in. 
Now there's a few ways that you can make this a little more challenging if you want. You can take the legs a little lower and then keep the legs, the knees extended as you draw the legs straight up. But don't go too low where your low back is pulling. So for most of us, staying just above halfway is enough. Halfway down. About 20 more seconds there. Try to soften the neck. Inhale as you open, exhale as you lift. Last one, and then hug your knees in. And then come to plank. Lift your right leg up, and then draw under and over to the opposite arm, and that's all it is. Keep the elbow straight from through the inner palms. And then switch sides, lift the left leg up, wrap the triceps in, and then under and over with that left knee. Try not to lift the hips too high there. You want a straight line from shoulder to heel. Doesn't have to be as fast as I'm going here. It can be more slow. Finish up, come to plank, and then all the way to the belly. And then just hover your legs and hands, find locusts. Curl the toes under, press the palms down to plank, and then bend your knees and hop your feet forward and back. And that's our interval. Come to your belly, locusts. Lift, exhale, push down to plank, and then tuck the knees in tight as you hop forward and back. Going a few more reps. One more rep. And then come to your back. Take your hands behind your head there, and then take the legs about to 30 degrees, and then lift your chest. I'm gonna keep that, let your head rest back, open your elbows, knit back through your front ribs, and then open and close your legs, and that's all it is. So the chest stays lifted. We should feel the upper as well as the lower abs. Try to soften the neck. Elbows wide, head heavy. Last 10 seconds. Good, hug your knees in. And you rock a little side to side. And then come back to side plank. And then lift your right leg. We're gonna extend the hip, so sweep it behind you a little. And then elbow to knee. So you just get that little hip extension there. And then connect knee to elbow. Last three. Two, one, second side. Extend the hip and then knee to elbow. (sighs) 
Last three, two, and one. Come back to your seat, right into Navasana. Lift your low back first, shins parallel. Keep your, the bend in the knees, the angle of the knees, just tap the right foot, inhale up, tap the left foot. So point your toes, think of tapping the ball of the foot down without extending the knee. There's your hip flexors. Keep lifting low back, cinching all around the waist. And then come back to center, reach your arms up, inhale, interlace all but your index finger, straighten your legs, twist arms right, exhale. Inhale, center and bend, exhale, straighten, twist left. One right each side. Navasana, inhale, cross your ankles, come to plank, and then lift your right leg up, right knee, right upper arm, left upper arm, inhale, extend the leg back, and then keep it going, right, left, and back, inhale, right, left, and back, and then switch directions, left, right, and back, left, right, and back, left, right, and back, inhale. Last three, two, one. Set that foot down, lift the left leg. Left knee, left upper arm, right upper arm, single legged plank. And then switch directions. Last three, two, one, plank, come to your forearms, <sighs> cow and cat, push your elbows down, plug your shoulders in the socket, inhale, stretch your front body, keep the toes curled under, without lifting your hips too much, push the floor away and look towards your belly, pubic bone to sternum, inhale, lift the sits bones, drop the hips, Exhale, pull elbows to toes. Look towards your navel. Inhale. Open, extend, exhale, contract and round. Three more. Last two. Last one. Knees down, come back to your back. And then take your arms out to a T, legs straight up. And then just take your legs halfway to the right, spin your navel to the left. Inhale up, and then legs halfway to the left. Spin your navel to the right. And then inhale up and take it about halfway right, and then sweep halfway left. Feel that steering wheel of the belly to keep the shoulders heavy. Neck soft. Find a little more momentum, maybe take it a little lower. And then to the right and pause, draw your navel to the left. Reach out through the feet. Inhale up and then to the left. Keep the breath moving, but hold the legs. Spin your navel to the right. Three. Two, legs up, bend your knees, set your feet down, lift the hips. 
And then bring your hips down, reach your arms overhead. As you exhale, curl knees to chest. All the breath out. Feet down, arms overhead, lift the hips. Thighs to chest, curl. Inhale, arms overhead, lift. Exhale, curl. Now hold at the top. Try to lift more your spine towards your thighs or chest towards your thighs. And then feet down. And lift the hips. You can take it to bridge. This is the last pose. Feel out the feet. Hug back through the belly. Just get a nice counter. And then lower down. Nicely done. Step your feet about hip width apart and just winch your wipe the knees side to side. And then rock up and take the feet to suit to Baddha Konasana. Soles the feet together and fold forward. Nice little wake up call for core. <laughs> so let's flow now, shall we? <laughs> Come right to tabletop. Find cow and cat, a few rounds or anything else. And then come into down dog just briefly. We're going to step our right foot between our hands. And then bring your back knee down. Now, dancing monkey is the shape, the template shape. Okay, you can take this deeper by taking a block under your hand and maybe looping up with a strap. Not making a loop, but just grabbing each end. And then sink your hips down, draw your elbow forward and up. If that doesn't interest you, you're just going to get more opening through the lats. Just grab the ankle. Right. Both scenarios were twisting to the right. And we're just opening the front body here because we're not going to take any crescent lunge or warrior ones this whole next flow. So I want you to dig into the front of the hip. Lift up through the chest. Use the, all your, your core strength there. And just feed your body with breath. Lean into areas where you might feel tighter. Take one more full breath. And then gently just release, second side. So step back to dog, and then left leg between your hands. Now you can simply reach your left arm back for your foot. As you twist to the left, maybe hand a block, maybe strap around your right ankle. But then it's the opposite hand to the strap. So you're still twisting to your left as you draw the elbow in, keep it hugging in as you circle it forward and up. So the bicep is close to the ear. And what this does is it essentially prepares you, not just for all the work to come, but perhaps for any inversions along the way. Take one more full breath. And then just soften out. Release your props. And come right to downward facing dog. And then shorten your dog a little bit. You might even widen your stance. We're just going to twist. So take your right hand to your left ankle. It can be around the foot or higher up the calf. But then look under your left arm. 
Roll the chest open. Let the head go. Firm the hips back. Take a full breath. And exhale, right hand down. Second side. Feel the right shoulder blade. And just rotating towards your spine there to revolve the chest. Breathe into the side ribs. Take one more full breath. Exhale downward, facing dog. Settle right into the middle there. Come into Ujjayi. Drag your top thighs back as you lift your belly. Inhale, look to your hands. Step, if you want to hop, hop, tap them out. Fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Good, come all the way to stand. Reach the arms high, thumbs the heart. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up. Soften as you fold. Take an inhale and lengthen. And then step back, take your first vinyasa. And come right into downward facing duck. Come here, down dog. Look to your hands, bend the knees, inhale. Feet to hands, exhale, step or hop. Take an inhale, lengthen, float the chest forward, exhale, fold. And then separate your feet hip width apart, bend your knees a lot, take your left hand under your heart, keep floating the chest forward as you reach your right arm up. Now your right knee and hip are going to want to draw back. I want you to draw from your right hip to the knee, draw those forward. And then twist your navel, twist from your navel as you reach up through your arm. Maybe drop your hips more. Take a deep inhale. Right hand down. And then second side, stretch your left arm up. Now your left hip's gonna wanna jut be back behind you. Draw from the hip, left hip to that left knee forward, and then right hip back. And then float the chest out as you cinch around the spine and rotate open. Reach or extend from the back of the heart to the back of the skull. Take a deep inhale. And exhale and fold. But inhale and lengthen. Step or hop vinyasa. Downward facing. Good, inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, feet to hands. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And then come to right to chair pose, Ukatasana. Thumbs to heart, inhale, and then twist to your right. You might open the arms. And then left hip back. Maybe right knee slightly forward. Inhale, touch the floor, come to center, and then stay that low, reach the arms up. Exhale, thumbs to heart, twist left. Drive that left thigh to the knee forward, just a hair, right outer hip back. Maybe open the arms, hug in of the belly. Thumbs back to heart. Inhale to chair. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, vinyasa. downward facing. Just 
take a full breath. Look to your hands, inhale bend the knees. Step or hop, feet to hands. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Come all the way up. Thumbs to heart. So adding on to that, inhale, chair pose. Thumbs to heart, twist to your right. And then lean the weight in the right foot to lift the left leg up. And then chest forward. Stretch your left leg back. Continue to rotate open. Revolve crescent lunge, curl the toes under. And then lounge your chest back as you push your right foot and left big toe from the skin of the right hip behind you. You might stay, you might open the arms or bind. Take three more full breaths. Exhale, right into runner's lunge. Ground your left foot, find heel to arch alignment. Bring your right hand inside your foot and stretch your left arm up. Swing your right hip underneath you. If you need to, you can come to your fingertips, block or elbow to knee. But then reach your left arm back behind you, flip the palm, find a half bind. And then draw. Just the chest open as you anchor through your feet and find the support from your pelvis and your core. Now keep your right knee at this angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Stretch your right leg up and back. Now I want you to internally rotate that right leg. Option one is to stay, enjoy. Option two, standing splits. Walk your hands to your left foot. Option three is an inversion. Bring your forearms down. So not staying here too long if you wanna stay in dolphin, just with the right leg up or take it Right in the pinch of my rasana, shoulders over elbows, just to switch the circulation. Push down through the elbows. Push down towards the floor with the shoulders. And then slowly, just come on out. If you're at standing splits, back and out. Walk the hands forward, chaturanga. Downward facing. Take a full breath. And then look to your hands. Step or hop feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Chair pose, exhale. Thumbs to heart, inhale. Twist to your left. And then start to lean your weight forward, shifting all the weight in the left foot, right heel lifts. Keep the elbow to the knee as you extend the right leg back. Keep leaning the chest forward as well. And then revolve crescent lunge. Curl the toes under. Stay, open the arms or bind. Let's see if you can hug the low portion of the belly away from your left thigh. And then broaden through the clavicles. 
hug around your center line as you twist. And then exhale, come right to runner's lunge. Find heel to arch alignment. Bring your left hand inside your foot as you reach your right arm up. And then hug your left hip underneath you. You can come to your fingertips block or elbow to knee. But then look at your right hand and reach the arm behind you. Swing your left hip away from it in opposition. As you cinch through the belly, flip the right palm and find a half, half bound side angle. And then draw your left knee forward, shin forward, as you lounge your chest back. Keep the strong bend at the knee. Inhale, reverse wire. And then cartwheel your hands down. Reach the left leg up and back, internally rotate it. And then you choose, stay, maybe standing slits, walking hands to right foot, or elbows down. If you wanna get upside down. Just briefly switching, reversing blood flow. Letting the brain drop. And then slowly come back, feet to the mat, chaturanga. Take it through your flow. Inhale, reach your right leg, and then step it between your hands. Come into easy twist. And then thread your right arm between that space of hand and foot. And then reach toward your left shin. So you can just grab around the calf as you straighten the right leg a little or a lot. And then inhale back to ball of foot as you bend your knee, chest forward arm up. Exhale, thread, straighten, tap. And just one more, inhale, chest forward, hip back. Exhale, thread and stay. So you might take left hand somewhere on that right ankle or foot, but don't force it. You can just keep your left hand down. Glide your shoulder blade towards your spine as you hug your right hip in. And feel the power from the core to then lengthen the spine. as you rotate open. Good, inhale, easy twist. And then take it to side plank. We're gonna find wild thing, if it's favorable in your body today. <laughs> Maybe right hand behind your head. You might turn your hand out, left hand, your supporting hand out a little more, and then look toward your right elbow and then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze to lift. Three, two, straighten the right elbow, let your head go. And then vinyasa, let's take it through. Mm -hmm. Downward facing, let the blood rush back to that left shoulder. And then lift your left leg, inhale. Easy twist, so step between, left arm up. Turn your right foot out, reach towards that right calf. And then spin back to ball of foot, left arm up, chest forward. Exhale, bow and tap. And then one more, we'll pause, inhale, chest forward. Straighten and tap. 
Use the power of your left bicep if you can bend your left elbow once you grab a hold of your back leg to then rotate your chest to the right. And then from your left hip in even more, maybe right hand to ankle or blade edge of foot. Disconnect the neck. Just let the head go. Feel the center, your core. Deep inhale. Easy twist. Inhale the side plank. And then set that left foot behind. Now you might spin your right hand out a little more as you take your left hand behind your head. And then hug your right shoulder blade towards the spine. Maybe look towards your left elbow. Don't force it. And then straighten your left elbow. Let your head go. Look back to the right thumb. Take it through your flow. Ooh la la. Bring your knees down. Take rest. Get some water. And then make your way back to downward dog. And then from down dog, come right into high plank. Take your right knee to your right upper arm and then hop and switch, hop and switch. Keep going. Hips lower, thighs higher. Last 10 seconds. Right leg up and back. And then hop and switch or step. Coming to standing splits on the right leg. And then inhale, lengthen, float your chest out. Revolved half moon, right arm up. So come back to the center line, hug all around the spine. And then just feel out your right foot, anchoring you as you hug the skin of the right hip back toward your left foot. And then breathe, slow down the breath. Look toward your left hand. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bend your right elbow and left knee and tap around the right calf. Inhale, extend. Exhale and tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Two more, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and then exhale, stay low, bring the top of your left shin and knee down for a twist. Take your right fingertips behind you, stretch your left arm up. You can take the elbow around the knee or push your elbow into the knee there. But then lean your chest forward so your belly compresses into your thigh. And then shoulders back as you exhale and twist. So you can lengthen the spine as you do that. Chest forward as you inhale. Also helps to tip the pelvis forward and lift the low back. Let's take another full breath. And then 
and look over your left shoulder. Pyramid pose, step the left foot back. Turn the foot out. And then put a little more weight in your right foot as you lengthen the spine. And then put a little more of a bend into your right knee as you draw weight into the left foot. So the pelvis should be nice and neutral there to then set up Raval Trikonasana, right arm up. So equal weight in both feet. Chest forward, hip back as you rotate. Maybe hand to block. And then we're gonna add on Kapala body breath here. So that pumping of the abdomen as we breathe in and out through the nose. But the inhale is more natural and the exhale is more forceful. So let there still be a suppleness to it, however. <laughs> but just imagine every time we exhale, we're twisting a little more deeply. So take a deep inhale. Last one. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, just bring your right arm down, out and down. And then inhale, sweep it up. Hip back, exhale, lower it down. Inhale, reach it up. Last one, lower. Hip back as you extend the arm, spine forward. And then get your hands down. Just take it through your flow anyway. Notice the circulation, the blood rushing through that right hip. Side, ripple forward to plank, left knee, left upper arm, and then hop and switch. Hop and switch. Keep it going. Keep spreading the chest. Think thighs high, hips maybe a little lower. Last 10 seconds. Perhaps a little faster. Three, two, left leg up and back, one. And then hop and switch your step, left foot between your hands. Come right to standing splits. Inhale, lengthen, put a little bend in your left knee, and then exhale, left arm up. Revolved half moon. Notice if your right hip is getting tired and dropping. Try to lift it up from the inner thigh. And then spin your right ribs towards your left as you lengthen through that bottom side waist. Now moving with the breath, take a deep inhale. Bend your left elbow and knee, exhale and tap. Inhale, extend. Slow it down, exhale, tap. You have all the time in the world. <laughs> inhale, extend, linger at the top. And exhale. Linger at the bottom. Two more. Once you come back to the tap, just sit down. Set up for Ardha Matsyandrasana. Left hand behind you. And then stretch your right arm up and lengthen. 
elbow around the knee as you twist. Feel this ability to tip your pelvis forward slightly as you inflate your abdomen in your thigh and then lean the chest back. Maybe arm up, elbow the knee as you twist. Take one more full breath. Look over the right shoulder and set up for pyramid. Soften the left knee and lengthen your spine forward. Right hand under shoulder and then put more weight back into your right foot and that's gonna swing your left hip back towards it. And then stretch your left arm up. Maybe hand a block. Take a full breath. Kapalabhati. Last three, two. Take an inhale. Left arm out and down. Inhale, arm up. Hip back. Exhale, float it down. Two more. Inhale, reach it out and up. Exhale. Last one, hold at the top. Exhale, bring it down. Vinyasa. Step whatever leg you prefer forward because we're going to spin open to the side of the mat. And then set up for horse with your hands down. And then hands to a fist. Keep that plumb line of the spine as you reach your right arm out and up. And then bring it down on your exhale. We're just gonna alternate left arm out and up. Exhale, so lengthening the waist as you inhale and reach the arm up, roll the chest open. Left arm up, inhale. Bring it down. And then one more each side. Inhale, spin the navel to the left. Exhale, bring the hand down. Left arm up. Spin the navel to the right. And then bring the hand down. Come to your fingertips and just turn the feet in. Fold forward. Prasarita. Reposition your legs maybe a little more narrow. So you feel this connection into your legs that can then radiate into the pelvic floor to unravel the spine out. And then get your hands down there, come back to horse. Right in the center. I'm gonna take your right hand inside your foot. Reach your left arm up, breathe in. Exhale, hand down, left hand inside your foot. Right arm up, inhale. Now take your time, we're just gonna go side to side. The legs stay static, and you're using that space we created through the waist to rotate open as you cinch and hold and support your spine in the process from the belly. <laughs> Lots going on, nice deep hip work as well. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> I know, it's hard. <laughs> Inhale, pause. It's hard in a good way. 
Last one, inhale up, and then right in the horse. Lift your torso. So one last push. When you take your fingers, interlace them and draw your hands forward. Drop your seat, and then we're gonna hop our legs in and out. Keep your hips low. Try not to round forward, so upper body back. And you can go as fast as you want. Just about 40 seconds. This is the <laughs> nearing the end. <laughs> Keep hugging navel to spine. Last 10 seconds. You got this. Last five, four, three, two, horse. Reach the arms up, lift the heels, knit the front ribs, maybe gaze towards the ceiling. Three, heels higher, two, heels down. Straighten the legs, interlace the hands, or hands to hips and then fold forward. Let the head go. Great job. And then release your hands there. Just take a vinyasa any way through. Step your right foot outside your hand. We're going to set the left hip down and walk your right foot down the mat. You can walk the left hand forward and then draw your right hip forward as you lean the chest back. Let that left shoulder shrug towards the jawline to sink the left side. I'm going to take this into a supine twist. I want you to see if you can bring your left elbow down first. We're going to stay on the left hip, and as you lower through the left side of the body, I want you to see if you can grab left hand or right foot first. Straighten the leg and then twist to your right. If that's not possible, just bend the knee. But if you have hand to foot, then right hand to left ankle. And then split the legs apart, soften the right shoulder, low back. Let's take one more full breath. and then release what you have there. We're gonna just reverse out of that. So however you want, you can set back to the elbow. So the right foot is forward. Let's come to half splits, Hanuman. So maybe towards a full, or staying somewhere in between. So you get that bonus from that left quad being, and hip flexor being lengthened to then maybe sink a little more deeply into it and listen to the right hamstring. Push or dig the right heel underneath you. And then soften and see if you can settle in Staying upright or folding. And then walk your hands in. Come back through runner's lunge. 
And then take your vinyasa of choice any way through. Just step your left foot outside your hand. And heel toe your left foot down the mat so we can sit our right head down. And then you can walk your right hand away from you to then lengthen the right side body. But you're gonna wanna roll back. I want you to take your top hip, roll it towards the center line, and then lounge your chest back. into that dense tissue on the side of the hip. And then slowly creep back with that right hand. Place your elbow down and slightly forward of your chest. We're gonna stay on the right hip. Come to your right shoulder, right hand to blade edge of foot as you twist to the left. Or just bend the knee. And if you want, reach left hand to right foot. Feel a little more of a stretch to the outer hip. Drop the shoulders. Feel the chest rise with the breath in. And just soak up the sensations on the breath out. And then gently release. Rewind out of that. It doesn't have to be graceful. Step your left foot between your hands for a half split. So straightening that left leg. Walk the hands back and then just use your right toes to guide the right leg behind you. But as, I, as you extend through that right hip, keep steering your left hip back, right hip forward. And that'll neutralize the pelvis. Stay or fold. And then gently make your way out. Take a vinyasa. Right, just right back to downward facing dog. And then hop through, take a seat, and lie all the way back. So setting up for bridge pose, feet flat. Arms alongside you. I think it's nice to set up with supported bridge first. Then you can make your way to full wheel. Open through the abdomen. Countering all that work we did, all that deep twisting. When you're ready 
they come out, gently release. We're gonna take it to plow pose. So if that's not something you wanna to find today, you can just find happy baby. But arms down, palms flat. I like to just take my knees in and then toes overhead. And then hands to low back as you hug your elbows in towards one another. Think of growing taller through the waist or the spine. And then lift your chin away from your chest and you might clasp your hands. But keep working or lay the shoulder blades towards one another as you push down through the back of the head, tops of shoulders, triceps and lift up from the sits bones. And then shoulder stand, lifting up one leg at a time. can be supported, a block under the sacrum. Just again, letting the circulation switch. Rubbing up the thyroid. to plow. If you want to take ear pressing pose, knees around the ears, hug it in. And then slowly just release, re-extend the knees, roll to the mid back, down to the low back as the legs circle over hips and you can bend the knees and set the feet down and then just windshield wiper the knees side to side as you extend the legs out I'll give you the option for fish pose or just make an early start in Shavasana. So prop up to the elbows, hug back through the belly and then curl through the chest. Come light onto the crown of the head. Point your toes. Lift the low back. And maybe flying fish. Lift the legs and arms. <clears throat> Letting the blood rush back to the throat. And when you're ready, Elbows down, legs down, curl chin to chest. You might hug the knees in one last time. And then release into Shavasana. Just find the natural breath. For me, this week has just been about noticing the effects. So whether we're in Ripple Crescent Lunge 
We're in a big heart opener. Are doing nothing. Notice the effects. And you simply watch the breath. A big part of getting back to ourselves is this time, this time of stillness. Because the repair part of the body happens in the parasympathetic mode of our body. those little mechanisms built in can do what they're meant to do and optimize our health. To use this time is gold, it's precious. taking another moment before heading back to your day. And thank you for sharing your practice. Namaste.